Hello Makers, happy Sizzix launch day. I'm not gonna go into detail for these. I know that Tim will do that uh, during his live, but I just thought I would show you something that I have made with one of these sets of amazing vault dies for the Vault 2 series. So we've got the pocket watch, and this is called Watch Gears. We have Vault Picture Show. So many fun things you can do with this one. We have the Matchbox. Leo is so excited about this launch as well. And this is a favorite boutique. And then we have World Traveler. And today I'm going to make something with World Traveler. So I have pulled from my stash of ideology backdrops. And from the volume five, I pulled some blues and also a, uh, a map. So I may use the map I have pulled from Backdrops volume three, some browns, and I have pulled from Backdrops volume two, quite a few. I've pulled this map that's kind of a telegram. I've pulled this brown. I have pulled this post, uh, I mean, passport. I pulled this one because it was dark and I thought I could do some letters with it. I thought this would make a great background. And, oh, I thought this might make it a nice background as well. So I went ahead and pulled it as well. Okay. So I'm going to decide which ones I'm going to use for my background, and then I'm going to cut some of the pieces of the globe out of some of the blues and the browns, and we're going to get started making a quick card. Well, I went ahead and cut everything out off camera, and now I am going around the edges of all of them with some Walnut Stain Distress ink to age them a little bit. And I added a, one color. I cut the airplane and the arrow out of some red. And then I made the card base out of a piece of black craft stock from the ideology line. And now you can see that I, I actually used both blues for the globe. So I cut the circle out of the light blue. And then I cut the globe out of the dark blue. And then the land portions out of brown. And then I started to try and figure out where I wanted that airplane to go. So I decided to send my people on a trip from North America to Africa. And the letters I cut out of that black map paper. And I'm using the grid on my background to help me make sure that I get them nice and straight on there. And the glue that I'm using is Distress Collage Medium, but I had some little, little bottles with fine tips that I got for a class a while back, and I cleaned one of them out and filled it up with Collage Medium, and so that's what I'm using for my details. Now I decided that I needed a little bit more detail on here, so I cut a film strip from the picture show. I'm auditioning where I want that second piece right now. And once I did that, I then decided that I wanted to use a few more of the dies. And so I cut out some pictures to put in the film strip. And then I realized that one of the pieces I thought was land was a cloud. So I added those and that's it. Well, that went together very quickly. This card took me about 30 minutes. And uh, as you can see, I went ahead and added a few things. I didn't realize that this was a cloud at first and I thought it was a part of the land. So I cut it out in brown with the rest of the land. And then I realized, oh, that's a cloud. So I went ahead and added the clouds, uh, cut them also out of some backdrops. And then you'll notice that I added some film strips to this. So I put them heading to Kenya and maybe they were going on a safari or something like that. So I added a, a film strip, cut it up, and put it in a couple of places on here. And then with the picture show die, you also get these little dies that um, can cut out something to go inside. 
each of the film strips and also this picture wheel. And so I went ahead and did that with some pictures from Disney Animal Kingdom. So I just used, uh, on my phone I have a picture um, collage program. And so I just uh, resized these pictures several times, printed them out, and used those little dies to cut them out. And so you can see here. I just cut out some animals from Disney's Animal Kingdom and went ahead and put them in there just as a little fun additional uh, color. So I'm very happy with this card. I think it went together really quickly using two of the new Vault 2 dies. And as you know, there are three more. So if you would like to get some of the new Vault dies from Tim Holtz and Sizzix, I have them linked below in this video, and they are also on my blog at playswellwithpaper.blogspot.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I want to wish you a very creative day.